Hi, my name is Mishi Chaudhary. I'm the legal director of the New York-based Safra Freedom Law Center. I'm also the executive director of New Delhi-based SFLC.in. We work on free and open source software's legal issues and also online civil liberties such as freedom of speech, expression, privacy, surveillance, etc. Uh, I have been asked to talk a little about uh, FOSS and startups. I did cover a few of the facts that because of the easy availability of various components licensed under free and open source software, uh, they should be used by startups as raw materials for their business. In the course of the discussions, a lot of people have expressed there are myths and there are misunderstandings about the copyleft family of licenses, particularly the GPL, the LGPL, the AGPL. I do want to stress that there is some kind of a political freedom issue which is involved. It is also that the improvements which are being made should be shared by anyone out there and whatever you got out of the community you should be contributing back. Having said that, there is no problem in using either a permissive license or a, any product which is licensed under the GPL if you understand the risks involved. There are risks involved either also with the proprietary software and not just the free and open source software. So it is only about understanding the terms as anyone would do if you were to acquire a proprietary software. It is the similar kind of a, a similar kind of an audit which a company should do. Know what is the source or the providence of a particular piece of software. Understand the terms of a license, whether it is a copyright license or the trademark policy of the project you are using, or if there are any patent issues, then also understanding them. It is only about getting the correct understanding of the terms, see what works at what stage for a startup and deploying it accordingly. There is no plague, no uh, cancer, no nothing. The <clears throat> a large number of free software projects are licensed under copyleft licenses and they are the most popular licenses for a particular reason. There are communities all over the world contributing, using, deploying, sell, selling services on it and that's going to just continue depending on uh, forever because that's how the collaborative model of peer production takes place. That's about GPL mostly, but if there are any particular questions which we face, there are sometimes questions about whether uh, certain licenses are compatible, whether some kind of substantial components can be combined, and if they're combined, then what should be the license of the final product? Can permissively licensed files be maintained in a larger work which is licensed under GPL? Then there are questions about the patent claims, when a project should worry about patents, whether there are standard, uh, standard issues, where, how are the royalties handled, if there is a demand for any kind of royalties, how should that be handled, etc., which, worry, which vary from project to project. If there are questions there are and about a particular project, most often than not, these projects try to answer them based on their websites and frequently asked questions or you could write to lawyers and understand what these issues are. Overall, the idea here is not to treat everything just because it is available at no cost, uh, also to have a misconception that it does not have any legal rights. The fact that there is an ability to make anything available free of cost is also derived because somebody holds certain rights and instead of exercising them to ex extract money from you, they decide to make it available for the entire community. Licensing is not the only issue which startups face. There are certain other specialized legal issues in the technology world depending on how you are delivering the final product or your service. That could include certain specific things like uh, the intermediary liabilities problem or privacy surveillance etc. Uh, combined with the copyright licensing part, 
as well as these various other issues all we recommend is always concentrate on the intention of a particular license on what the communities require and intend to do respect their rights because you although they are making it available gratis or at no cost but that does not mean that they don't want their rights to be respected so use it while respecting it and give if possible give back to the community because what you get is something which is so high quality and it will only get better and be available for everybody to consume if you also contribute back to it thank you